Hello and welcome back. We are still in day 16 of this mule advanced training. Now we'll try to understand what is this connected app and when to use this connected app for deployments. Very interesting one. Let us see. In other lecture, we understood how to deploy to cloud up using this mule maven plugin. Here there is a problem. I have hard coded my username and password. Uh, configuring username and password like this is not good because somebody knows my password, right? So normally the best practice is to use something called as connected app. So what we will be doing is actually in this case using Maven, we are deploying to Cloud Hub, right? So actually in Cloud Hub, there is a Cloud Hub API. And Maven is internally using the making the API call to do to do the deployment. Can I say that Maven is a client to this Cloud Hub API? Yes, so if we can somehow generate a client application, a application which contains client ID and secret. We can give the client ID and secret to Maven. Maven will act as a client and will make an API call which will do the deployment. So how to actually create a app client app? Maven is a client in this case. How to create a client app and how to get the client ID secret? How to use a client ID secret to do the deployments? Let us try to understand. OK. So um, I'll go to my AnyPoint platform and I'll log in. I will go to Access Management. Here you can see that there is something called as Connected App. I can create an app right now. There is something I'll delete it. OK, so I'll create app. I can give a name. This is an app which represents a Maven. So I can give Maven app. So Maven will be acting as a client to the Cloud Hub API. So I'm creating that app. App will act on its behalf. So I want to generate a client ID and secret. And for this app, what all permissions? Permissions are nothing but scopes. So I'll give all the permissions. Normally, your administrator will be giving only limited permissions for a particular client, but right now I'll select all permissions, all scopes actually. Next, for which business group? This is my business group. And for which environments? We are going to generate a client ID and secret for which permissions will be granted. For which environments? I want to give it only to sandbox environment. Next. Add scopes. Then. Save. So we have generated a connected app for this. Actually, if I click on it, it will show me a client ID and secret. We can use this client ID and secret in our mule Maven plugin for doing the deployments. How? If I go to the documentation of mule Maven plugin for deploying to Cloud Hub. Mm, the documentation clearly says there is something called as connected app client ID. I'll configure this connected app client ID. Now I don't need this username and password. I'll comment it out. Here instead I'll configure connected app client ID. Um, and also I need to configure connected app client secret. And also. Connected app grant type the value must be client underscore credentials. OK. The value of this must be client underscore credentials. Now I need to get the client ID. Uh, I'll go to my. Connected app. I'll copy this client ID. And secret. This is the secret. So now I have not used username and password. 
I have configured connected app client ID and secret. That's all. Now we'll be able to deploy. Let us see if we'll be able to deploy or not. I'll go to this directory. Command prompts. And simply as usual, MVN clean deploy hyphen D mule deploy. That's all. Let us see if the deployment happens. Uh, I guess uh, in my cloud hub already the app is there with the same name. I'll go to my runtime manager and I'll try to de uh, delete this. Yes. So the build is happening. Let us see um, this mule deploy plugin. Will it create an app and try to start that app? Yes, you can see deploying. In some time, it will it will show creating application. Now, once I see that creating application, I should see that app on runtime manager. I'll refresh. Not yet. Here it is saying starting the application. Oh, I am in dev environment. Sorry, I have to go to sandbox. I'll switch. Hmm. You can see that the application is right now getting deployed. So the same thing we can achieve by using a connected app, right? So once you understand the connected app, one more thing you need to understand. I said whenever we are creating a mule project using the API in exchange. Suppose if I select like this. If I try to add this uh, API. As a dependency to the project and try to create it is trying to download. The API right actually what Maven will try to download from the any point exchange any point any point is actually managing its own Maven repository it will try to download from here. So actually, if I show you the project form.xml, um, you you should be able to see. Actually, it is in uh, master bomb, I guess. You should be able to see that there is a repository called as any point exchange v3, right? So this is the repository from which uh, Maven will try to download the RAML from our exchange. So for this we need to give credentials. As you know already in my local repository folder. Uh, in we.m2 folder in settings.xml. Um, if you remember we have configured a server with ID same as any point exchange v3. This name any point exchange v3 this should match with the repository ID and earlier I have hard coded username and password. Now instead what we can do is. I can actually comment out this part. And there are some conventions to be followed now instead of hard coding username and password, which is not safe. The same thing can be configured like this. The ID is same username must be client like this three tilts client in C capital three tilts. Then for password, this is a client ID. And this is a client secret. Between them, one tilde question mark tilde. This is a syntax according to documentation, right? This is how we can actually use client ID and secret even in our settings.xml. Okay. So we can have we can avoid typing our username and password in our settings.xml by using a connected app. OK, I hope you understood about connected app. That's all for now. I'll see you in next lecture.